Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some technical analysis on 88 Energy, ticker symbol, triple E, N, F, and ouch, 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 ouch. This is why, guys, I said I do not own the stock because <laughs> I've seen this before. Um, you know, big hype up and then a big dump right after the hype up. And um, so we just kind of want to go over some support and resistance levels. However, uh, we'll say... Uh, this is a little bit different than the last one that I've seen the big dump off as I feel like this could actually recover decent over the next week or so and I'll show you why so uh, as you see here we hit the golden cross breakout uh, back in March and we shot all the way up to 0 0.0055 and uh, as of uh, that time frame I think 0 0.0026 uh, was the overall floor and now we're all the way down to 0 0.0023 you see we just fell straight down but the good news is when you fall straight down similar just whenever you fall or you fly straight up you typically tend to bounce you either hit our ceiling and fall down or you, you hit the floor and bounce up and and that's what i think that we're about to do for triple e in f and that makes for an interesting swing play opportunity in my opinion so as you see here a lot of volume and move to the downside we bounced off a of point oh oh two three we are currently in a bearish pattern in regards to uh, the MACD indicator and of course the RSI on a 184 hour time frame we are definitely oversold which typically means that we're going to see some buying pressure to push the price up on here that what you want to keep an eye on are these two lines here that are getting closer together um, so this blue line crosses and goes underneath the pink that typically signals that we have room for more downside so it's something to be really cautious of if you are going to go into a swing play you want to make sure that you st uh, set your stop losses on this particular play here but if you're going to get in and this is something that i'm eyeing for a swing this is where i would get in at here and kind of go from there uh, look at the resistance levels of 0.00 3, 0035, 0035, 0043, 0048, 00, uh, let's see, 55. So that would be your support and resistance levels. Um, let's look at the one hour time frame and then we'll look at the overall daily. So as you see here, it looks like yeah, we did cross over here on the one hour. So we did pop our head up a little bit. I think we could retest the 0 0.0023 level at some point, but overall, I think longer term, we're going to bounce off of that. So let's look at the daily. And this is the daily, guys, from uh, January 1st, 2020 to yesterday. And this is actually a pretty crucial level of where we are. And as you see here, the Golden Cross breakout indicator, we're super close to getting if you see these two lines highlighting here if we do see a spike in price and a recovery to like 0 0.0035 for example then this blue line here can cross over this pink line here and that should signal that longer term could be a pretty decent breakout indicator for triple ENF as you see the the overall um, overall of that 20 cents it looks like of what we got back in 2020 it just went basically straight up <laughs> from there it's looking like so i just keep an eye on those levels if you get to like 035 039 then we can kind of revisit this and see if we have a longer term breakout indicator they do have some things going for them uh, the the spike in price i say hype but it was actually due to the fact that they actually discovered oil um, they do have a lot of shares out. They had a ton of dilution, so there's a lot of outstanding shares, which will make it a little bit more difficult. And they are trading on the OTC market, so that makes it a little bit more difficult too. However, um, you've seen some of these stocks before. Whenever they start to move, they really move. And this one actually has a reason to move. So it's something to really keep an eye on. Again, I don't own it for the longer term. I'm looking possibly at a swing trade here. And I'm going to see how it acts right off the open today and just kind of go from there. So... Just wanted to update everyone on Triple E and F. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.